What's up y'all, Sean here. So there's a guy mowing the yard over there, so I don't know if you can hear me, so I'm gonna yell at you today. How's that? Um, today we've got the Inspire, and I've got this hopefully incredibly strong 3D printed um, GoPro mount that I have devised after Frankenstein and a whole bunch of different um, different Thingiverse files. I mean, there's probably six different creators in here. Um, I'll try to put a list of all the files that I, I took away from to make this mount happen. But basically what we have here is it mounts into the Zen Muse hole on the Inspire. Um, and then on the, the version two, there's a clip back here that holds the back of the Zen Muse spy, X5. Um, so I've got that connection point and this connection point. And then I've got six Phantom 3 dampers with the oh crap, um, safety harnesses in them <laughs> so it's not just a rubber damper there's actually like a clip on here that's gonna if if the damper gives away it's still going to catch it kind of like a safety chain on a trailer um and then we've got the insta 361r um i decided to start this out with one of my older 360 cameras um, but i think the insta 361r is almost perfect for this um my goal today is not to put my goal is never going to be to hang the camera as far away from the drone as possible, um, just because I've done this a lot. Um, and the farther you have something away from your drone, uh, the shift back and forth of the pendulum is a little crazy. So um, I'm not awesomely lit today. Um, this isn't, you know, if you wanna make fun of my YouTube channel, you can if you want to. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get this up in the air and we're just gonna test a 360 camera up in the air on a drone that's not even gonna feel it, okay? Um, I put cameras on smaller drones. I put a GoPro on a DJI Spark, um, just to give you an idea of the things that I've done on this channel. Um, and when the camera is about the same size or half the size of the drone, the drone really, really struggles with it. You can put like stickers on your drone, you can add some like a little plastic landing gear, stuff like that on your tiny little fold up drone. But when it comes to a whole camera with a glass lens, you really need a beefier camera. You need a beefier drone to make that happen, okay? And that's what we're doing today. We've got a beefy drone. Um, I've done this on Mavics. I've done it on Spark. Um, I haven't attached anything to the minis, but um, I'd say the Spark was probably the dumbest thing I ever did. Uh, but I started this channel out doing this on my Mavic Pro. And the Mavic Pro could handle it, um, did it a lot, and there's a lot of people out there making mounts and putting cameras on their Mavics, and they're, they're very successful with that. Um, but just so you know, every time you add weight to your drone, you're putting more strain on the motors than they were engineered to handle, okay? The, the extra torque on the motors should be there just in case a big gust of wind comes along. If you've maxed out your motors and you have extra and a big gust of wind comes along, then you might be screwed, okay? So this drone can handle a Zenmuse X5. I've taken the Zenmuse X5 off and replaced that with a camera that weighs less than the Zenmuse X5. So with that said, the payload on this drone, it's not gonna feel it, all right? Um, and the reason I'm kind of close to you is because I am talking to you on uh, my Inspire controller. <laughs> I've got my uh, tripod mount to my Inspire um, controller. I purchased that from Eat More Possum off eBay. Um, so yeah, so now I can have kind of a hands-free experience if I need to touch something on my controller. Um, I don't have to hold my controller at the same time. Um, and that was one of the tips from uh, 400 AGL uh, Mel over at 400 AGL. He, he said, he considered, he told me to get like a harness. I forget what the, the item he told me to get, but it was like a shelf on your, um, on your chest. Um, and, uh, so I decided to go this route still gives me hands-free. Um, I saw Brent 
uh, Eat More Possum do this a while back, and I was like, that's pretty cool. So um, he was he's selling all his Inspire stuff, so I'm buying it from him. <laughs> so it, it, it works out. Um, so yeah. Well, the lawnmower is way over there, so I probably should have done my intro now, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm not going to, there's big power lines over there. And since I'm flying my Inspire without, um, without first person view on the drone, um, because I replaced the camera. So I don't have, I'm flying this drone without a camera on it, even though it has a camera on it, but you get me. Um, so I'm like from the ground, I can see where the wires are. And I, I feel like if I flew up in that blue area, I'd be above the wires but I'm still gonna be pretty cautious. There is a turkey buzzard flying around. So I'm gonna try not to kill a buzzard today, um, but wouldn't that be some fun video? So yeah, I think without further ado, let's get this up in the air. Thank you. 
you guys like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications of when I put out more videos about the DJI Inspire, 360 cameras, 360 cameras on drones, drones, live streaming, the list goes on. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out.